it seems this year is a different year, thanks to Nafis Husseini and his group. All the areas of CCC are listening to us, and they are with us. So, the best of luck for the new year to come, for all of you here, for, and for all the others in the different areas. Now, I want to start with, I heard from many people questions about What's the situation of CCC with the problems in the Middle East, with the problems which are taking place with the Arab Spring? I would assure you and make you feel in a good way that this year is better than the years before. It's true we had little problems, but they all were solved and we didn't suffer at all, except very, very little minor things. This is mainly because of the culture, the culture of CCC, which we are proud of. And I believe our culture, it's the only culture among all companies of the world doing the same work as we did. Our success is because of our culture. Our hard work is because of our culture. Our relations with each other is because of our culture. Our helping to others is because of our culture. I'll give you simple example. When I first came to Athens, there were elections here. And the late Arafat sent me somebody to tell me to help a certain party here. He wanted us to help financially and to advise our people for election. And the answer was, we are coming here to do work and not politics. And this is what we do everywhere we work. We care for our work. We don't interfere in politics. We interfere in another way. We help. Now, it's no more a secret. Mr. Sabah, the late Mr. Sabah, is not with us. But what he used to do, he used to be asked by rulers, kings, presidents, when they have problems among each other and they want to solve their problems without going to the press or letting anybody know, they used to ask Mr. Sabah to come and interfere and try to help the problems between them uh, and keep it confidential. This happened many times, and this is CCC, and this is part of our culture. I was mediating between Yemen, North and South. I was mediating recently between the Arab Emirates and Palestine. This is what CCC does in politics. What we do is helping to solve problems of responsible people. Even I have been interfering in helping families of important or political parties in the Gulf and the Middle East. This is the culture of CCC. CCC, it's not only our relations at the top, it's our relation everywhere. I can tell you that a few of our people would have passed away 
except for our relations at the American University of Beirut. Of, because of our staff in Beirut, who really care and who will do everything possible when somebody is sick and he goes to the American University Hospital. We have the same thing here. We have the hospital we are dealing with, the doctors we are dealing with, our relations with them is beyond imagination. So we have the help. We have the help wherever we go. We help by donations. We built in Palestine alone five buildings and universities. We built, built in Lebanon six buildings in different universities. I built myself a church in Amman and a mosque in Gaza, we have been helping everywhere. In this country, we have been doing what nobody else has done. In fact, I have been contacted by responsible people in the government to, to congratulate CCC for their help. I am doing a very big thing now, and uh, we will be writing in the bulletin about it, but I, I should let you know. I have been recently to Bethlehem. I found the church in a terrible situation. I was really upset to see the city in such a situation. The city and the church where Christ was born. I went to see Abu Mazen in Ramallah. I told him, you leave this place in such a situation, it's where Christ was born. And straight he answered, you are Christian and you care for Bethlehem, but we care, Muslims, as much as you care. He said, it's where Isa ibn Maryam has been born. In the Quran, it says about Maryam, Mary, the most innocent woman born to earth, the most innocent woman born to earth. And he started telling me about verses in the Quran about her and about Isa. And he ended up, Saeed, thank you. It's very, very important. When we talked about the church, it was leaking. He said, how much it will cost? I said, I checked and they told me about two million, three hundred thousand. He said straight away, one million from me. I told him, half a million from me. I said, I'll depend on you on collecting money from different countries. He collected the rest and we have now two million, three hundred thousand dollars and we are having contractors asking them to give prices to give to one of the contractor to do it. <coughs> For the city, he said, it's your responsibility. I'll support you in everything you want. I'll support you and 
I'll encourage you and I'll be following you to see that you are doing something. I appointed two companies, Khatib and the Alame from Lebanon, and the Arup, a British company well known for city planning. And they have completed their work. They have done very good work. Now, the way we are I'm going to do is to have the infrastructure built by donation from people. And then we go to hotels, hospitals, restaurants, whatever it is. These two companies will liquidate the places, make a study, and tell us about the feasibility. Then, after we finish the infrastructure, I am the chairman of an organization in Lebanon, Iqtisad Al Amal. We are going to have throughout Iqtisad Al Amal a very big gathering. I hope Lebanon will be okay in Lebanon to announce that there are these project for whom is ready to get involved and take one of these projects. So we'll be writing about it in the bulletin and you read about it. Now as far as this country Greece to us is very dear. We came here, it was our resort. Most of us were Palestinians who left their home to Lebanon. And in Lebanon, problems started. We have to find a place. And we didn't find a better place than this place. This place accommodated us. The government was very nice to us. The people were very nice to us. We came under a certain law, which was not applicable anymore when this country used, uh, joined the EU. So the government specially made a special law for us and companies similar to us. And we stayed here. So we appreciate this. And now, with the situation here, we tried to help as much as possible. We have been helping everywhere, even the Archbishop, when he was not able to pay salaries for his employees, for his priests. So we helped everybody here. Besides this, some of you might have read my announcement where priority for employment, whether in, Greece, in Athens or outside, wherever we work, is for Greece. These people have, are in need. They have helped us. They are good people. We have to help them. One of the things, the donations we are doing, I have asked, Mr. Awad to have a small organization for helping people here. And I would like him to speak a little word about what he is doing now. And thank you for listening to me.